Hello guys, and today I'm going to talk briefly about Pac-Man. Now, in the 1980s there was a computer game called Pac-Man, okay? And it's still available today on things like iPads and thing, iPhones and things like that, okay? And basically it was a computer game where the, you had something called a Pac-Man, which was like almost like a a sort of moon shape with a mouth and it used to gobble up dots and it had to try and eat all the dots and there were some ghosts trying to stop um, Pac-Man eating the dots and if Pac-Man ate, I can't remember the exact proper term for this but some sort of power pill he could then eat the ghosts but otherwise if the ghosts um, got him and he hadn't eaten, just recently eaten a power pill which wore off after a certain time then he would lose a life. Now, what's that going to do with anything? Well, a few weeks ago, but I just I was and I didn't get around to doing this. I was in Tesco's and I saw they had some slippers, some Pac-Man slippers. Okay. Now these are actually in the sale. Okay. Normally these would have been about thirteen pounds, but and you can see the stickers currently covering the price but, but it does show a euro price so the euro price would have been £16.50 um, and the euros are quite similar to pounds I think so it was £13 before and now it's £6 now £6 per slippers is very cheap okay so these were in a sale so I got them in a sale and you'll notice that this is the Pac-Man and You'll notice here, if you look at the sole, on, at the, not the soles, but if you look here, where the heel of the shoe goes, the, heel, the shoe heel, well, you know, the, the heel of the foot goes, you notice it's got what look like the ghosts, okay? So these are the ghosts that are normally in a Pac-Man game. And it says ready, the word ready. And often you might see something like, and you'll also see lots of dots, I know it's difficult probably to tell on this, but there are lots of dots, and it's also got some sort of like the shape of a Pac Man maze. So, if you look carefully, you'll see it's got lots of blue lines, white dots, and black. And it's there, it's got the orange, sorry, not the orange, the yellow circle, sorry, not the yellow circle, and that would be the Pac Man. That'd be um, Pac Man wants. Um, it's got its mouth closed. Following the maze, and the ghosts and ready. So there you go. This is some Pac-Man themed slippers I bought. Okay. At the moment, I haven't taken the string off, or I haven't removed the tags. You've also got here um, Pac-Man tag. Okay, it says Pac-Man and it's got the pictures of the ghosts and the Pac-Man here that's the Pac-Man the others are the ghosts and it's showing you the dots that Pac-Man ate and the sort of maze shape if I just do that you can see it this is just a tag which you cut off um, I'm going to try and see if I can put on just to show you so you know um, it's going to be difficult so there you go you can now see that me wearing the slippers now, as I said, I'm going to take them off now um, because I do I, my slippers haven't worn out yet, but they do often wear out. So I got some spare ready, and I just was so surprised because I've never seen any Pac-Man themed ones before. And normally I would have thought these would have cost a fortune, but um, just because they've got you know proper Pac-Man logos on things, but. Um, because I've had to pay for license to put, you know, this on. Uh, 
and and it states licensed by Bandai Namco Entertainment and it's also got an FSC mark where it says there's the mark of responsible forestry on the back and it's also got another thing yeah so there it's got some sort of forestry mark so there you go some pac-man slippers which i won't wear until i've wore out my um other slippers okay so there you go guys oh i didn't even realize this um the heels well the, the way you put the, the heels in the shoes are different so on this one you've got the four ghosts and the word ready and on this one it states game over with um, just showing you one of the um, ghosts who presumably has eaten a Pac-Man or something. So that would be how you'd start the game, for example, and that might be how you might lose the game. Okay, and there you can see the um, maze with the dots. And it's showing you here, some of the dots have been eaten. And this one... Yep, yep. Well, I, on both of them it shows you some of the dots have been eaten, so it doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> okay. But anyway, you get the idea, right? So, there you go. Side by side, you can see the difference. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!